Badger and the Badger. Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a building guide for Gragas, a champion who I am really excited to see being played again, mostly because he's always been a solid jungler ever since, obviously, his changes way back, like Season 3 when he used to be a mid lane mage with the most ridiculous range ever. Faker was destroying everyone with him. Um, they decided to tone him back, and he kind of found a better role in the jungle. Um, but it's good to see him here again after some recent-ish buffs, and um, it's time to take a look at him because he's very impactful and actually quite fun to play. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show off his runes and his masteries. I have a light, actually. Let's just go kill Riven quick. We'll kill Riven, and then we'll show runes and masteries. But I'm um, going to get a gank off early. He's really good at getting early ganks off, mostly because he always has life. Um, very good at sustaining his life in the jungle. We pick up first blood because of the red buff. Get wrecked, Volley Bear. Your ignite is no good. Um, but yes, here are those runes and those masteries. Take a look at these. If you need to pause the video right now and jot these down or open up League and do that, go ahead and do that right now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and rip them off the screen now. All right, cool. Let's move on to abilities quick and talk about those so we know why he's good at being a jungler and what he brings with his gank. So um, first off, we have his passive. It's happy hour. Gragas takes a drink um, from his cask. Um, or whenever he, yeah, blah, 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 takes a drink from his cask every time he uses an ability. It restores 4% of his maximum health instantly, which is really, really nice. So, um, this does have an 8 second cooldown. We're gonna go bot and gank. We get another kill. Hooray. Grog is super good at ganking and tower diving early. Take a drink. Oh, my passive was already on cooldown, but, you know, we were prepared to drink to get some life back because of our happy hour passive. Um, that's what we have. At rank 1, you can either put a point into your body slam or into your barrel roll. Depends on which buff you start at. You can do body slam if you are starting over on uh, Gromp. On Krugs, I like to start barrel because it does damage to... Well, you can do damage with both regardless. Actually, it doesn't matter. But we are going to be maxing out our barrels first, which is, of course, your Q. You roll your barrel to a location. You can detonate it immediately to deal some damage. But if you wait for two seconds, you will deal even more damage as damage increases as it fermentates over two seconds and it will slow enemies obviously too um it's great that's what we're gonna max out we'll get more slow and we'll get more damage good for ganks good for killing camps it's good for everything level two if we wouldn't have put a point into it already we i actually usually put it into my drunken rage not my body slam i like drunken rage personally at level two i like to max it out second as well um it really depends though on the game but drunken rage we typically max out second you are going to be gaining, um, or you're going to be getting some damage reduction for two and a half seconds, and then within the next three seconds, your next basic attack is going to deal bonus magic damage based on the target's maximum health. It does a lot of damage. This is why Gragas is really good at ganking. He brings percentage health damage to ganks, and also they buff this so it has a little small AOE around you, 250 units. So if you do this in the middle of a team fight, you're going to do a lot of AOE health percentage damage to a team, which what is just another reason it makes him a very strong jungler. Um, then obviously we have our body slam. You're going to lunge forward, charge, and you can go through walls, but you will collide with the first enemy hit, and it will deal damage to them, and it will stun them for one second. Body slam's cooldown is reduced by three seconds if he collides with a unit. So um, don't miss. Um, this is just one of the things they've done to take out some escapability. Um, but as you can see, you can do body slam, fast, body slam flash like we just did into Riven, wrecked her day, saved Volley Bear a little bit, and uh, made it look like a nice little solo person wombo combo. Um, I'm not going to lie, if you didn't see that while I was talking, it was pretty. Um, I thought it was pretty, at least it made me feel good too when I did it. That's one of those moves when you do it and you're like, oh... Yeah, that felt good. But yeah, that's what happened. Um, and then, of course, we have his ultimate explosive cask. When you throw this at the location, it explodes on impact, dealing damage, of course, um, to all units struck and knocking them whichever direction away from the center of the cask. So, location. So, you can knock people away from you, you can knock people towards your team. Um, as you saw, we knocked Riven away from Volley Bear top lane towards the turret, which was a strategic location. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep farming and ganking. One thing with Gragas for sure, and this is something I still struggle from, sometimes you just get in a farming mood. And if you're a sated jungler, you're going to always be in a farming mood. But obviously you're not going to be going sated with Gragas. But um, make sure you gank with Gragas. He's so damn good at it. And you keep chasing there. We kind of cut off the uh, Thrash. Granted, in the long run, this, this is going to fall apart for us. But we do have four kills already. But we're going to chase him. And Azir's going to show up and put some damage down. Unfortunately, he's going to eat a charm to them. No, he's not going to eat a charm. He ate a hook. Similar but different. Um, he will get the kill, though, on Thresh after we burst him down. Um, unfortunately, I should have just... 
we should have cut our losses here, but bot lane's already respawned and coming back, so I'm going to get caught out and die. Um, I caught the charm to the face. Um, and, yeah, my flash was down. How sad for me. But let's talk about the build now, shall we? So, realistically, there's two options you have on Gragas. Typically, you either have the Runic Echoes or you have Cinder Hulk, both of which I've been toying around with a lot. And the reason why I'm going Runic Echoes on um, Gragas is because of the movement speed and that extra early damage you will be getting on it. It really makes his ganks so much more impactful than what a Cinder Hulk will give you for tankiness late game. I'd rather have the impactful early ganks with bonus damage early than having a few hundred extra health late game. Um, it'll help you scale faster, help you get to newer, better items, and it just makes you a way more impactful ganker. Also, just in general on Gragas, being able to get into position is a very important thing, whether you're body slamming into place or if you need to get into place so you can throw an explosive cask. It's important to have that extra movement speed that Runic Echoes grants you. So for now, until they nerf him and his damage is really worthless and you'll have to switch over to Cinder Hulk, for now, go with the Runic Echoes. It's a much better choice. Now, as for boots, I think you actually have about mm, two-ish main choices. I either go Merc Treads because they have gotten buffed and they're awesome, and because just in general, CC reduction is a good thing to have on somebody who will eventually tank up naturally and dives into the middle of fights with his big belly. But uh, I'm going to go Ionian Boots because it's really good to have your cooldowns up more often because he has very impactful cooldowns with Explosive Cast. It also is going to let me have my uh, Flash up more, more often so I can do Bati Slam Flash more often as well, which is another important thing to do. It's a good combination to learn. Make sure you learn Body Slam Flash. It's actually insanely easy to do. Um, and it's very surprising most of the time to people. They don't usually see it coming because you body slam first and they assume you're just going to be short, but the flash then arrives and the body slam is technically still in motion until you hit them and kill them or, you know, body slam them. And then they get the stun on them. And when you do that, as long as you're within that split second later, you can usually slow that, throw the explosive cask right behind it and they have no time to flash. And apparently I've tabbed out and now I'm back in the game. Okay. Um, but yes, so that's important, so we do that. Now the next item might actually seem really confusing to a lot of people, but I find this to actually be an incredibly impactful item. We're gonna tank out with Gragas. He naturally gets tanky, he has the damage, re damage reduction within his Drunken Rage, um, and we're gonna be here for initiating and really setting up kills. Granted, we don't have to build straight damage because we have so much CC, and we also have that percentage damage on Drunken Rage when we have that auto attack. So you don't have to build him damage. In fact, I would I would strongly not do that. So um, we actually go with the Locket of the Iron Solari next. Um, it does give us more CDR, which is a good thing. We get health as well, you know, health regen, magic resist, and the aura and the active. All very important things for our team, and as someone who you will see trying to peel for people in fights, and trying to block people in fights, it's nice to have those things around. Although I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why I didn't activate it too much, but I'm an idiot, apparently, that happens. Um, but you know, we try to stay in between some people. So, oops, I say some people, our team. I did activate it, I lied to myself and got a kill. Um, but yes, you just need to be aware that it's actually a much better item than a lot of people think, and it's a really helpful team item. Um, I'm also a team player in games. I know, how nice of me. But uh, it really makes sense. It saves people's lives. It keeps your ADC fighting, itch, which in the long term is going to be more damage output than you with, I don't know, something that does a little bit of damage. Um, as for the next item you go, or you can go, at this point we should be picking up some armor. Um, we're 23 minutes in the game. ADCs start to become a little more relevant around the 20 minute mark with uh, normal farming and a normal game. They start to get some more items. Having some armor at this point is gonna become an important part of the build. Um, for us this time, um, we're gonna be going with the um, Sunfire Cape. Sunfire Cape also recently-ish got buffs. It's a little bit better. It's not super recent of a buff, but it is much better. Um, Dead Man's Plate also been getting nerfed a little bit, but Dead Man's Plate is also a good one. Here I'm engaging really hard before the team gets here, and I will die for this engagement, but I've done significant damage, and I've got them all caught out for my team to clean up almost all of them. So this is a, one of those hashtag worth moments in the comments where they thought they caught you, but you really were catching them. So um, once again, it's really good to be that tank initiator for your team like that. So we've finished off the Sunfire Cape. At this next point in the build, Iceborne Gauntlet is something I really like to get. Um, even more armor is going to be a good thing. If you would have needed to go for a Frozen Heart because they had a vein or an attack, speed, growth, steroid, 
ADC, maybe a Kog'Maw, something like that, then you could, of course, do the Frozen Heart. But Iceborne Gauntlet's going to make the stickiness of Gragas when he body slams in and he gets that um, percentage health damage drunken rage auto off on him. He's going to be doing the Iceborne proc, slowing them down even more. You follow that up with a Q barrel to keep them even more slowed and in place. It's going to be a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of moment. So that's the next item we're going to build. Another thing you can obviously build if you want to go for the split push game, ZZ. It's so strong right now, you could consider doing it. Really, really good base stats right now. There's really no reason why you couldn't build it on most of your somewhat tanky junglers. Um, so just for instance, let's talk about it. Um, Gragas with Cinder Hulk, if you were wondering why that's better. There she actually stopped me from doing it, although I didn't body slam flash. Did I flash body slam? Doesn't matter. She's gonna die anyways. I can solo a vein. We're tanky enough. We do enough damage with one, t one item. Granted, Sunfire gives us damage too. But um, at this point, we don't have Cinder Hulk, but we still have 2,800 health with effectively three items finished, two of which only actually having health within the item. So Gragas naturally tanky, obviously with the runes and mastery setup, we have two, and those, uh, those uh, masteries giving us that 300 health is obviously incredibly helpful. So make sure you do pick that up. It's strong on just about every jungler right now. It's a really good way to get basically... Um, I don't know how much gold is it worth of stats. 300 health, how much is that worth of stats? 400, 400 gold worth of stats for essentially farming? It's pretty good. You might need to consider picking that up if you're still somebody who's a little bit behind and still running Thunderlords. Because, I mean, that's fine on certain champions and still good on a few that are really aggressive and wombo combo-y. Um, like, for just, and, the, and you build them as damage. But for Gragas, definitely not. You want the health. Um, lots of fighting to ensue. Lots of... Azir coming online into that later game, you know, 30 minute mark, he's starting to get his damage output going. Um, that's just what Azir does. Combination of Gragas and Leona, though, is quite good in fights. As long as you don't disperse people as she's ulting, um, between the two of you, tons of CC, miss, missed body slam, doesn't matter. Kill things regardless. Leona picks it up. High five to the support. Um, one other thing, too, obviously, to talk about build wise, after this. Um, Iceborne Gauntlet, the finishing item, or another item to get next, would be the Spirit Visage. This is going to increase your healing and give you magic resist that you probably would need at the next point in the game. Um, it's going to increase that 4% of your maximum health instantly on your happy hour passive, so pick that up and you're going to have a great time with Gragas. Like I said, just make sure you gank with him early. He is so impactful. He's very, very good. Um, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And I'll see all of you in the next build video.